Hey guys, well come follow me, we're in section 93 this week um, and I'm filming in my front yard again because look at the sun, it's gorgeous even though it's freezing you can tell by my layers and my jersey. Uh, in New Zealand here we're in, still in lockdown level 4 which means that supermarkets, pharmacies and service stations are open, that's probably about it and uh, everyone's at home so neighbourhood's alive so there's some sounds around that you probably haven't heard before plus we're expecting rubbish trucks and I can hear the neighbours talking maybe you can't but there you go so welcome to my front yard again hopefully you can enjoy this uh, section 93 is, is fairly short for just doing one section in the week which made me think what is in, in it that we really need to extrapolate or take from it being that focusing on one section for the whole week and it's like 50 verses I think now let me just double check that 53 verses so it's not particularly a lot of reading um, but it was fairly easy to find five points that I wanted to bring out to you so you know maybe think about it this week as you're looking at section 93 what is it in the section that you need right now for you and your family and your situation where you are um, Section 93 is often described as the way God loves, which is beautiful. Uh, it's also an invitation into a fullness of relationship with Jesus Christ and with Heavenly Father and by absolutely Heavenly Mother in that invitation. Uh, an invitation into that relationship with the Godhead, really. Uh, which, yes, there's three of them, but Heavenly Mother and Heavenly Father are together, so it includes them. Um, and I... For the first insight here, I just wanted to cover like the whole section and do a little overview on that. So there's a there's a little bit of that. Um, other sections to look at around this is specifically 76, 84, 88, and 89. They're all sort of invitations into that kind of relationship. So fullness, actually, this is all about fullness as well. Fullness appears in this section 15 times. 15. Go count them. Um, and how do you define fullness? because fullness can be different to everyone. Now this is fullness with one L, uh, which has a different meaning to fullness with two Ls, although similar. Um, fullness with one L is more of a spiritual definition. Uh, fullness with two Ls is a, sort of like a more, more of a weights and measures or so, so similar, but not the same sort of depth of meaning to it. Uh, I define this kind of fullness as a completeness of the thing, like uh, the whole thing, the filling it up you know just, just every little bit of it is is completely done um i think it's more of a word that you sort of just know like if you've experienced it then you know what it means um so yeah in this section we can read about a fullness of light glory power grace truth joy and knowledge fullness of all those things so it's not just one thing that we have in our relationship with these wonderful people in, in heaven and, and Jesus Christ um, it's the fullness of all these things uh, working towards the fullness of these things is about gaining a fullness in our relationship with God and Jesus Christ as I just said having done this himself Jesus Christ is ever willing to help us in this and that's something to really remember and think about that if we're struggling with this and we want help he's done this before it talks about that in here and we're going to cover that in, in a later insight um, and that is ever going to help us. So don't settle for less when a fullness or a complete wholeness is available and waiting for you. Don't settle for less. Now part of gaining this fullness and how we do that, I'm going to cover in insight number one. Um, so for this one, it's going to be fairly short, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's about it for that one. Uh, my uh, quote that I found from this one is from Elder Bedner. Uh, and he actually, I've got a couple of quotes well, I get a couple. No, I only used the one from him, I think, this week. But it says, line upon line and precept upon precept, gradually and almost imperceptibly, which is what I like in there, almost imperceptibly, our motives, our thoughts, our words, and our deeds become aligned with the will of God. Continuing conversion unto the Lord requires both persistence and patience. And that's really key because often we get so far into it and we're just like, oh, this hasn't happened yet, I'm not there continuing conversion unto the Lord requires both persistence and patience it's not easy to break out of what we've got going on to 
have that relationship, to make that time, to be conscious and make that time uh, with any kind of relationship, it takes effort. It doesn't just happen. Like, you've got to make it work. A Heavenly Father's there, we've got to make it work. Um, we've got to get to that place, and we're going to get to that in insight number one. And it's actually really not that hard, uh, but it does take that effort. So thank you, Alda Bedner, for that reminder. And I will see you in insight number one, because it's going to be a good week.